welcome back to my channel. So tomorrow, I start school. And since I start school, I figured a lot of other people would be starting school, so I would make this video showing you everything that's in my backpack. It's so heavy. Okay, so I just got a kind of a simple backpack. It's a Puma backpack, really cool. Um, in the front, it has a front pouch right here. In the front pouch, I have my gym shorts, my gym shirt. Ooh, so everything's crawling. And then in a pocket on the inside of that, there's another pocket, and that. So I have my socks. So that's pretty much all my stuff for gym. And now I have to shove back in this pouch. And also for gym, since I usually don't wear tennis shoes that often, because I'm usually wearing dresses and skirts and all that stuff, um, I have my shoes in here. I have my shoes in, a, in two little pouches on the inside. And then I got these really cute uh, folders. They're one dollar. They're one dollar. They're a dollar at Target and they're super cute. And I figured because of the designs that are on them, I would put them with the different class periods so that I had, you know, something that was good. So, science, history, math. And this one's for English because it's so cute. It has a little piece of kale on it and it says, kale them with kindness. And I just thought that was really cute. So I had to get it. Especially since it's one of my favorite Selena Gomez, song, uh, Selena Gomez songs ever. Um, what else do I have in my mystery bag of fun stuff? <laughs> um, in the pocket behind that, because there are about five million pockets in this thing. Um, can't find the zipper. Oh, there it is. I have co uh, just college rule notebooks. Yep, super simple, super easy to use. I got one in blue, one in yellow, one in green, one in red, and one in black. Um, that way I can have a different color for each section, each school subject. Okay. Now also in this pouch, I have a green clear pencil case, which has my pens, my pencils, and my highlighters in it. So it's super easy to use. Um, that way, whenever I need it, I can just open it. I can be like, oh, I need a pen. Here's a pen. And so it's a lot easier. The one thing I will say is, is with these pencil cases, the ones that don't have the holes in them, you kind of want to treat it like a uh, plastic bag and close it like this before you zip it, which makes it a little bit harder. Well, it didn't zip. It's broken. Is that it? Okay, I did it. I just went too fast. Okay. Also in this pack, I have college rule notebook paper, 175 sheets. Uh, it's really cheap. I think it was only about three bucks. Actually, that's probably way too much. I think it was around a dollar, like a dollar and fifty. And I haven't opened it yet because I don't have binders, which binders are another thing that you'll probably want to use. Um, probably, you'll most definitely want to use it. Um, and. Yeah, so that is my backpack. Also on my backpack, one thing that I will say is very cool is up here, there's this little thing, which is kind of like a triangular or type thing. It has a little like plus sign on it. And if you zip that open, you can put your phone with your earbuds inside of the pocket. So, and then your earbuds can find its way through that little hole and you can use it. So now that you figured out what you need for your backpack, depending on if it's pencils, markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you need, you have it, you have your backpack, but 
if you're a vegetarian like I am, sometimes the lunchroom can be a very hard place because most of the time the main dish is meat filled. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys an incredible sandwich that I absolutely love and I'm gonna show you how to make it, the ingredients, and all that stuff. So I will see you in my kitchen. Okay, so this is my kitchen. Welcome. <laughs> okay, so in the sandwich you will need pepperoncinis. In this container I have three types of bell peppers and cucumbers on this side. So I'll show you guys. I made sure that it was super set up and super easy to where it was split and uh, very clean. So I'm gonna move these over here. Um, tomatoes, if you want them. I might not use mine. Um, also onions, another one where it's like eh. And I got some baby spinach. So what you're gonna do is take a knife, long drawer, let's take a knife. <laughs> and knife, take your bread, which I got Italian white bread. and get it out of the package. Get two pieces, like so. Now the bread is about this big, so what you wanna do is make sure that it's put together, take your knife, and cut it in half. So it's cutting these two perfect little halves. So, on this bottom piece, first thing you're gonna put is some spinach. So, um, I don't think the spinach is open yet. And this one, this spinach that we get comes pre-washed, which is super easy. So you wanna put I'm gonna say about three pieces of spinach. I'm actually gonna do four, because I love spinach. So, you're gonna put that on there. And then I'm gonna take my cucumbers and bell peppers, and I wanna take and put about, I would say three cucumbers on the sandwich, because it's, it's small bread. And then take a few of the yellow bell peppers and put them on there. Take a few of the red. And then take a few of the orange, which mine are all the way at the bottom, and put them on the sandwich. Now you wanna make sure that it's good so that when you package it, it doesn't topple over and it doesn't do any of that weird stuff. So, if you have that good, you can close that up. And just sprayed water everywhere. <laughs> okay. Now, after this, um, I'm gonna take my pepperoncini and put those on last, which I need my gripper. I have this super reason thing. It's kind of a, it's like a grip thing, so you can put it on the top and open containers, which the pepperoncinis aren't open. Yeah, these pepperoncinis aren't opening. So, I will see you in a minute. Okay, so, got my pepperoncinis to open. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna take a few of them and put them wherever you want on the sandwich. I'm only gonna put about three, maybe four, maybe four. And put that on there. So, the spread is like this, yes, I think. Yeah. So put the bread, back on top and you want to press this push the sandwich down so that the bread kind of compacts on top of the sandwich now with this I have a super easy sandwich container now some people might not have this so you can just put it in a plastic bag it's no big deal 
Um, I don't put sauce on mine because I don't like that my bread gets soggy if I leave it on there for too long. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna place it in the sandwich container like so. And then you can just pop the lid on. which I put on wrong, of course I did. Um, and there you go. Now this is super easy. You can just take your lunch bag, which mine not only has a Velcro on the, on the top, mine also has a zipper on the inside. So then you can put this in on the side. And I like to have a nice bag of grapes with a peanut butter bar. That way I can just package it like so and go on my merry way. So there you guys have it. There is your back to school video on how to make the perfect sandwich. So I will see you guys later. And hopefully I'm hoping to start doing at least two to three videos a week on this channel. Um, but with school starting now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I know that I have two other videos planned for this week, but I don't know how that's going to turn out. So, I will hopefully see you guys sometime later this week. Have a wonderful week.